What's up YouTube, it's Pierre here. Welcome to the second installment of the Zero to Product series. If you haven't checked the first episode, I really encourage you to watch it. Today's focus is on the essential phone and we will try to think about how we could make a wireless charger for this guy using its accessory pin. And to do that, we'll try to create our own printed circuit board and use 3D printing. The essential phone PH1, to be exact, has been a very much a flop. It featured beautiful hardware and pretty much the first edge to edge screen with a notch in 2017. There were so many software issues at first that led to poor experience, terrible camera, and didn't live up to the expensive price tag. While they fixed most of the flaws on the software side, it was too late. But there was one particular feature of this phone that was interesting, which was accessory pins. They probably had plans for multiple accessories after launch. They were probably thinking about using the launch money to develop and sell all these accessories. But in the end, only the 360 camera and one audio adapter came out. So the question is, could we make use of these pins ourselves? The inspiration for this came from the incredible community of Reddit diehard fans. It's actually possible to charge the phone by applying power onto the pins. And we can therefore build a pin-based wireless charging stand for this specific phone. For this purpose, we set out three user requirements. First, charging without having to plug in a cable. Second, for it to be standing so that notifications and contents could be delivered seamlessly. And finally, leaving the fingerprint sensor accessible. We can see that by applying power to the pins with a simple budget micro USB cable, the phone reacts as a wirelessly chargeable phone would. To think about it in a product way, let's try to first have proper pins to have a robust connection and second have a USB-C port in order to be able to reuse the OEM cable or just any new modern cable. And the answer to this is to design a custom printed circuit board in order to have all of this together. Nowadays it's become very simple to both design and get manufacturers these PCBs in both low volume and price. For the phone connection we settled on Poco pins which are very common in circuit board testing. Shout out to my fellow essentialist Ventrivium for suggesting this idea. And for the USB-C part, we are even on par with the specifications for power delivery standards. Indeed, by using two resistors on the so-called C channel, we are able to request a maximum of 3 amperes of current, and therefore be compatible with all chargers. Now that we have the full prototype ready, let's create a printable stand. For this purpose, we set up two design constraints. The first one being as low profile as possible, and the second one being a robust connection with the phone. But the first one is a matter of taste, the robust connection can be achieved using magnets, since the phone has indeed been exactly designed for that. Thanks to the integration between Autodesk Eagle and Fusion 360, we can quickly export our PCB into a 3D CAD model and design our casing around it. The unique part we created was printed in 7 hours using the Creality Under 3 and again, a few iterations were needed in order to reach the final product. So the question remains, could we turn this stand into a mass market product? The answer is probably no, because it would be really hard to sell an accessory for this phone. Considering how cheap PCBs and plastics are today, we could aim at a price of $9.99 for instance, and maybe that would be enough to just have fellow essentialists buy it. If we were earlier, maybe having a premium approach to this problem could have worked. Indeed, the phone was made of titanium and ceramic, so we would have to go for a high-end material like aluminium and build something really cool. And finally, we would need to address the low power issue we faced with this prototype, which was to be stuck at 0.5 amperes, which isn't too slow for a stand because usually it's on your desk and you're there for a few hours. In order to make a product out of it, we would need to be at least at one amper. So thank you for watching and tell me in the comments if you have thoughts on this. Please subscribe to avoid missing future episodes and till then, stay curious.